What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with a brand new episode of Beer Views. Tonight we're going to be doing a beer battle between Bud Light and Coors Light. We're going to see which one tastes the best, in my opinion. Uh, but real quick, I want to talk about the Coors Light real quick because as you can see we have the new limited edition summer 2021 cans. And on the back you got a pair of sunglasses with the water and it says chill. I did notice last week I got a batch of this and it actually had orange water. I didn't know that was a thing, nor have I seen it advertised, but it was definitely blue and I was kind of uh, kind of confused, but this is what it is. It's kind of cool that they got multiple, I guess, versions of the can, but that is the new limited edition summer 2021 Coors Light can. Now, back to the video. Bud Light versus Coors Light. Now, fun fact about both of these beers is they typically range about 10 bucks a 12 pack where I live. But I have a local munch and pump gas station that is literally about three miles from me. And they're both like $7.15 a 12 pack. So you're getting one hell of a deal there. They're both, you're paying natural light prices and Keystone light prices at that point. So let's go ahead and crack in. So I'm not gonna pour them into a glass or anything because we all know they look almost identical or possibly identical, most likely identical. I mean, they're both American adjunct lagers. So, I mean, we all know what these beers look like. Let's taste them and let's see which beer is the best, in my opinion. Everybody's got their own opinions and tastes. And uh, everybody below comment what your favorite of the two is. We're going to start off with the Bud Light. It's definitely Bud Light. It's always got that, that really sweet back-end taste to it. It's normally why I don't prefer Bud Light too much because it, it's I think it's the sweetest of the light beers. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and crack into the Coors Light. See what it's like. This one is definitely less sweet and it's more crisp. This one's crisp as well. Don't get me wrong. This it's a good beer. Both beers are perfect for a hot summer day or just sessionable beers. But in my opinion, I'm not fond of the sweet finish on this one. I don't know if it's the rice that they use. I don't know if it's just, they put more sugars in it. I don't know what it is, but excuse me. I've always noticed with Bud Light, you always get a sweeter aftertaste. Now, some people will say Coors Light's sweeter. And we all have different tastes, you know, all have different palates. So I wouldn't doubt that, that someone thinks that. But I don't get much sweetness off of Coors Light. I get more of a crisp taste. As with the Bud Light, you do get that crispness. It is refreshing, but at the end, after you swallow that sweetness kind of lingers on the tongue a little bit. I'll go ahead and try them again before I give my final take on this. And then right there, it's almost like corn syrup. You get that really, that really sweet aftertaste. Which I can see why someone would want that. Maybe if you're having a spicy dish or something, that would go good with it. You know, fried food or it's something. This would be a good, like, like a meal beer. Try the Coors Light one more time. Yeah, that's just so much more crisp and clean and more refreshing and it's just it just doesn't have that sweet aftertaste to it like Bud Light does which I don't necessarily like 
it's not bad. I could drink 12 of these easy and, you know, have no complaints, but I'm going to have to give the win to Coors Light on this one. It's just, it just doesn't have that sweetness that lingers on the back of the tongue or uh, on the tongue. So I'm going to have to go with Coors Light, uh, but that's been this episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, I will be coming out with more beer reviews very soon. Uh, I know I had like a, uh, a month off where I didn't do any reviews. That's just because I've been busy and I've had, you know, just a lot of stuff to do. But uh, I will be back uh, probably next week doing more reviews. Uh, I actually want to try to get a hold of that uh, Bushlight Apple. And I want to get the new retro Bud Light seltzers. Uh, everybody says that they have a very nostalgic taste to them. And they're like, they taste like stuff that you had as a kid. Maybe like a bomb pop or something. So that kind of intrigued me. And I saw that and I was like, ah, I need to try that. As well as some more craft beers. Uh, we just got a new liquor store in town. And it's apparently the biggest liquor store in my entire town. So I'm going to check that out and see what kind of beers they got. But... That's been this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, if there's anything you guys want to see, leave it in the comment section below. And also tell me what your opinion is. Do you like Bud Light or Coors Light more? Let me know in the comments. See you guys next time. Cheers. I'm going to do it with the Coors Light because this is the one I like.